Baltimore's Inspector General wants to expand her office and budget next fiscal year. Alexa Ashwell sat in on today's budget hearing. She joins us live with what's behind this request. Alexa. Yes, and according to the Inspector General, it's a small ask, a $2.6 million budget, including the creation of a position. Fraud, waste, abuse. This fiscal year, Baltimore City Inspector General Isabel Mercedes Cummings says her office has fielded 760 complaints, completed 127 items or investigations, and as a result, identified more than $16 million in savings or abuse. That's nearly three times the amount the OIG identified in fiscal year 2023. This includes violations of criminal law, civil statutes, regulations, ethical laws or standards of contact. The inspector general highlighting some of the 2024 investigations during its budget hearing before members of Baltimore City Council's Ways and Means Committee. DPW's $7 million outstanding water bill for the Housing Authority, $1.3 million in uncollected right-of-way permits, DOT's $1 million outstanding payment to city contractors, a contracted nonprofit's $130,000 in mismanagement of ARPA funds, and Baltimore City Public Schools' $5.1 million in failed retirement contributions to 535 city school workers. Probably the most important was the 535 employees from Baltimore City Schools that weren't going to be receiving retirement, even though they thought they were. Cummings acknowledging the importance of her office. Baltimore has a history of waste, fraud, and corruption. In her tenure, the OIG has completed reports on fallen former Mayor Catherine Pugh and more recently, former city state's attorney Marilyn Mosby. Just this month, Mosby sentenced for her crimes. Being an attorney, um, I believe in the system and the judge spoke. Cumming is now looking to expand her office by adding another special agent, beefing up her department to 19 employees. It's part of her budget request, $2.6 million, a slight increase to the current $2.3 million budget. The reason we would like to have an additional um, special agent is because we currently have 10 pending investigations. Each of my special agents carry between two to four investigations. Of our budget, 94% is all personnel and salary. And because my employees are MABS employees, certain increases have to happen automatically. The required salary increases, the benefit increases. What we're trying to do is make Baltimore the best it can be. The charter requires city council to pass a budget before June 26. It will then go to the mayor for review. Reporting live in Baltimore, Alexa Ashwell, Fox 45 News. I'm Mary Bubala. Thank you for watching. Here's another video for you to watch. Also take some time to subscribe to our YouTube channel.